Hey everybody, this is Tom Hackleman. I uh, want to welcome you back to another edition about of what's about, great about Norman. And today I'm with Andrew Sartain, and he's with Earth Rebirth. I appreciate you being here today and Thanks joining us. And we've got one of our critters joining us. Yeah, for our... flies hanging out with us. That's right. <laughs> well, we are here at Norman High School out in their garden area. And uh, Andrew, tell us a little bit about Earth Rebirth and kind of how it came into being. Yeah, so Earth Rebirth is a nonprofit focused on food, energy, and water. And our mission is to educate and empower people to take food, energy, and water into their own hands. Okay. Uh, I originally came to OU in 2008 as a part of the wrestling team, and a couple years after that, decided to found Earth Rebirth, really because it seemed like everybody nowadays understands that we can do better. <laughs> that everybody understands to some extent the problems, and as a kid, my biggest passion was animals and nature and the idea of protecting them and everything I loved about the natural world. And as you get older, you realize that you know, no matter how much you love monkeys, you still have to pay the bills, you still have to feed your family. Okay. And if you have to choose between the two, you're gonna choose the latter. And so my goal became helping people take those three things, food, energy, and water, into their own hands in a way that they can do to help themselves and protect the world I loved. Okay. So tell me about the garden here. Um, yeah. Tell, tell everybody you know, what the purpose of this garden is and, and what, what you're doing with it. Right, so our Garden Your Own Growth program is what most people know us for in Norman, where we have a goal of setting up a garden at every school in Norman and having those gardens contribute to the cafeteria supply. Uh, Norman High Garden was actually one of our first partners back in 2013 or 14. Uh, we were approached by the science teacher and said, hey, we have an overgrown bed with a tree in it. We want to do something with it. And so we helped revive that outdoor garden, which we used to be on the other side of the school. And then after that, we helped crowdfund to build the aquaponics system that's Excellent. in the greenhouse. And so from that point, it became how do we raise the bar? And the goal became how do we have the kids, one, produce for themselves, but also turn it into an economic stream that can help the classrooms sure. and the teachers with their curriculum. Okay. Now you're doing this other places, not just Norman High School. What we are, are yeah. We currently there. We're at about 14 schools in Norman, so we're about halfway there to every school in Norman having a garden of some mm -hmm. sort. Several of those gardens are serving in their cafeteria periodically. Most of them use the food with volunteers or in the classroom or the food pantry programs. Okay. Uh, and then we have interns and community volunteers, uh, interns at OU for class credit to help check on the gardens, water the gardens in the hot summer months when everybody's on vacation, right. make sure that the teachers aren't gonna come back to just a bunch of weeds and nothing growing, uh -huh. that sort of deal. So our big focus is really to kind of serve as that safety net and then consolidate the projects around the city so they can work together and it's not just scattered school gardens kind of sure. doing their own thing. Okay, now obviously the question I've got and, and a lot of people probably have that are watching the videos, how do you fund this? I mean, it, this can't be very inexpensive to, to set something like this up. Right. So how and, do you do that? You know, the good thing about gardens is once you have it going, there's not a ton of cost to keep it going. You okay. just gotta, you know, seeds aren't the most expensive thing in the world. Water, as long as you have a good hookup, you're okay. So in the beginning, it's all about getting that infrastructure together and getting the interest. So we always start with looking for small grants with the PTA, the Norman Public School Foundation loves to give teachers small grants, things like that. Then we move on to looking for business sponsors and individual donors, people who want to help that specific project come to be. And then we'll look into more creative ways like crowdfunding, that sort of deal. And then we have a membership program that people can become a member of Earthy Birth and donate monthly for okay. different perks. They can get discounts on garden services and things like that, but it all helps support our efforts to set up school gardens that can't necessarily afford them right now. Okay. So um, what about people in the community? If, they, if they're looking for help right. doing this themselves in their own backyard. Yeah, so one of my favorite stories I was telling you about is, you know, back in 2013 we were gardening at Reagan Elementary. We had a teacher come to us and say, would you do this at my house? And we went, light bulb, absolutely. <laughs> if you need the help, we want to come to you. Yeah. So we, we all have idea, we'll travel. Exactly. And you, know, you really come across two key types of demographics. People who are just too busy mm -hmm. or don't know what or have time to get started. And right. then people who physically can't necessarily do all the work themselves. And so we really like to help people get it off the ground similar to the schools and make it less overwhelming. So we launched a consulting program where we'll set up, we'll do a free evaluation for homes, businesses, neighborhoods, churches, community gardens, whatever you want, you name it, and we'll kind of guide you through planning your dream garden. And there's no obligation to purchase anything, but okay. if you do, and any paid services we use to set up or maintain your garden, help support the schools. And right. so there's a community aspect to it to help you get started growing that can also support the efforts of the schools. Okay. 
Um, now, you have some other projects going on, some special things that are, are happening. Tell right. us a little bit about that. So we, we focus on everything, food, energy, and water. So we're largely focused with the city on different ways to encourage people to get involved with these. So if you're familiar with the Environmental Control Advisory Board, ECAB, they have a landscaping award every month that okay. we are largely focused on trying to just raise more interest in. We, from time to time, will just go find great yards in Norman to nominate, but it's really a nomination process where we want people to nominate their neighbors, nominate themselves for the water conservation or work they've done in their yards. Okay. Um, and then on top of that, we have the Wild and Scenic Film Festival coming up, which is a big event that we'll be hosting for the first time. And I'm really excited about this because it's actually been hosted for 16 or 17 years in Northern California and has grown to be hosted in 40 plus states. Really? And they've wanted to host it here for several years and we were the group that finally said yes. So we're really excited to bring this event here and it's the biggest event of its kind when it comes to the environmental activism, the resources and the stories of people doing stuff with the natural world. And so we'll have 13 films, seven activity zones, food trucks, a bar, the whole nine yards. And it will be at the Mercury Center on August 18th. And that's a big membership drive, so the tickets are $25, but if you sign up as a member of Earth to Birth, they go down to $15. Excellent. Okay. So where will people want to go to get information about so they can that go to, and your, right. and your information? Yeah, so they can go to our social media as always. Facebook's a great place. You can watch all kinds of videos we've posted about our projects and things coming up. And then our, fa our website is earthtobirthnow.org. Okay. And so you can buy tickets to the film festival there. You can sign up as a member and all that good stuff. Okay. So... And so they can get their memberships there, all of that. So ways to help fund your your work. Come to so our events, sign up as a member, volunteer, okay. become a garden checker at the nearest school to you, that sort of deal. Okay, sounds good. Well, uh, folks, well, as I always do, we'll have the Facebook link in the comments section on this post. So check out the Facebook page, become a member. Uh, come to the event on August 18th, August 18th. for the Film Festival and, and check all of that out. Um, most importantly, just support Andrew and his work and what they're doing here in, in the Norman community. It sounds like a phenomenal program. Thank you. Um, nominate yourself, nominate your neighbors for the Landscaping Award. And uh, let's just get the word out and, and talk to your friends and your neighbors about ways that we can, can be a part of this great program. And uh, Andrew, I really appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Tom. Telling us all about the program. And folks, check out the Facebook page. Learn more about it. If you have any questions, reach out to Andrew. And uh, again, this is another great thing about Norman. We've got some great things going on. If you know of something that you'd like to nominate or suggest that we reach out to and spotlight in our series, let me know. Most importantly, take this video and share it out so as many people in the community will know about what Andrew's doing and Earth Rebirth and all of the things that are, are taking place in our schools and in our community. So that's all for today. I appreciate you tuning in and look forward to seeing you on our next broadcast.